Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. We've just finished that battle against the invaders, and we got a little over 4,000 experience for that. John's earned another level already? Wow. Okay, is there any... Okay, that's well, some magical stuff. Don't know if we have room to pick any of it up, but... Okay, we'll grab that mace, maybe those quarter staffs, maybe the bracers. Bracers are usually, usually almost always worth picking up because they're just worth so much and they weigh so little. We'll leave the non-magical stuff there. Well, let's save that. I don't think we could rest safely here. We should be just outside the, sh the general store, so maybe we could go in there right now and get the stuff identified. And that detect magic should still be active, so we'll know exactly what we need to ID. Oh. Okay, we'll start IDing stuff. Yeah, it might actually come to the point where we end up equipping our fighter types with bracers. Maybe. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we were coming into the game with freshly rolled up characters, this would be this battle would have been a very useful source of magical gear. <sighs> yeah, and she makes change. God speed you back. Okay, then I think we'll finish patrolling this level of town and hopefully we'll get relieved eventually. No, this is the only bank in the game apparently. We relieve you. Okay, so we've been relieved. Let's go to the inn and keep greeting you. For you, our best room to the left. So, yeah, and if 
you weren't listening to the innkeeper or the innkeeper were asleep, you know, you know to look for the room with the red door. So we will fix and rest. And I believe John should have one. Oh, this is first spell. Okay, let's try Fairy Fire. That helps make invisible enemies visible. Okay, let's take a real quick look at Brienne. Okay, so she started out as level 8. Which isn't bad for a freshly created character. Okay, so let's save. And then we need to report back to the Commandant's office. And it's night again. And we'll go up the spiral stairs. And we go back to the Commandant's office. Sir Bertle meets you. Good news! Our foes have left! You're free to go, but remember Tom's request, the dream merchant's in Caliban this time of year. Oh, so we didn't have to guard a spot. Okay. So, I guess we get to leave town. Okay, well, let's... I wonder if we'll find Sir Garen again. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, if we had found Ayn Rand Pike earlier on during our patrol, we might have found a spot where there was a Spy trying to slip over the wall. Oh well. First word after the heading introduction on the first page of the rule book. Yeah, that's about what you'd expect. Ah. That's okay. All right, so I guess we're done in Gargath for now. And we can leave. We just go west and we'll end up on the overland map. Yes, we are leaving the outpost. You're at the Gargath outpost. Do you enter? And we were told to head to Calaman, which should be up there. And we're down here currently. So... Let's go. Oh, mountains are too high. Mountains are too high.
and there are areas where you can have little side quest things. Oh. You have run into a group of undead. What do you do? Uh, let's try attacking, which may be a mistake, but let's see what we got. Okay, these can be turned. That zombie, the zombie mastodons, maybe we can turn, but not the skeletal warriors. This is only two of them. And... Okay. Um... I'm going to pause the recording while we deal with the skeletal warriors because I think that's going to be long and tedious. So we'll be back in a sec. And we're back. Finally finished that battle against the zombie beasts and the skeletal warriors. It's getting kind of late for me, so I'm just going to get us into Calaman. City Knights greet you. At left is an inn. Our commander begs for news. He's down the lane to the right. I think we will go to the inn first. The innkeep welcomes you. All rooms are free! Which gives me one less thing to spend money on. Yeah. So, need to go through that door and just pick any room. And we're going to save, fix, and nothing to rest for. save again and at this point I think I'm just going to end this episode extra early rather than continuing to record because it's getting late I'm getting tired I'm liable to make stupid mistakes when I'm tired and besides we had an almost double length first episode so we probably had enough for one for the first couple episodes already anyway so um, when we come back we will go track down the commandant here at Calaman maybe sell off some of our junk if we can find a good place for it hopefully find the dream merchant and we will see you then